Hi, this is a review of the shotgun microphone from LYX Pro, model number CMG50. What we're going to do in this review, since we're using the microphone, I can't show it to you on camera. The pictures do it really justice, though, so take a look at those. But we're going to switch back and forth. I'm recording this with a DSLR camera with the shotgun microphone positioned directly next to it. So we'll switch back and forth, and you can hear the difference in audio between the DSLR and the shotgun microphone next to it. We'll start with the camera microphone itself. Well, I tell you that the set is a pretty nice one. Uh, it comes in a nice box. It includes a windscreen for it, and it includes a, a small carrying case that you can throw the microphone, the windscreen, your uh, memory cards, whatever you need to throw in there and that way you can have it if you're out and about. If you're using it out and about, you will need a AA battery. You might want to bring a couple extra of those. I haven't really tested long term as far as how long the batteries last. Right now it is using uh, power from the mixing board, so there's no battery in there. If you're using it at a studio, something like that, it will take power from the mixing board, so you don't have to worry about having a battery in it. Now we'll switch over to the audio on the microphone itself, and I think you're going to hear a difference here uh, in a few different things. One, my voice is probably a little bit clearer. Two, you're probably where you were hearing the uh, air conditioner, the furnace is right in the next room here. You were probably hearing some rumble from that. You may be hearing a little bit of noise from the dishwasher going upstairs and you might even be hearing a little noise from a refrigerator in the corner here all things that the camera microphone was picking up when I was doing earlier tests and they're all things that a normal condenser microphone would pick up they pick up a whole lot of things that's the, the nature of the beast if you will where something like this a shotgun microphone is very directional so things happening to the side things happening behind it are not going to get picked up anywhere near as well as things directly in front of it so with me speaking directly towards the microphone and those other uh, distractions in the other sides of it you should be hearing me a lot better than you were from the microphone inside the camera. But now we can switch back to the microphone in the camera. As I tell you that this is a great microphone, I think, for using with a DSLR. If you're recording something, especially uh, where you don't have to, where you don't want to worry about wiring somebody up with the microphone, whether you want to use a little lapel microphone, whether you want to use the old-fashioned you know, radio broadcast microphone that I normally do these reviews with, uh, it's nice to be able to get an interview done or a quick video without having to add that extra step. Right now I have this microphone going into the mixing board, which is then going into this little zoom recorder, which if you're out and doing field recordings, you can either plug the microphone directly into one of these and record the audio separately, you know, record it both on your camera and on an audio recorder like I'm doing here, and then matching that audio up in the post-production, or you can plug this microphone with the proper cable directly into your camera and use that to record the audio. So depending which you prefer, um, I use software that will automatically take the audio, and especially for this, for this review, I wanted both audio to compare it, but what it would basically do would give you, uh, it would automatically, Adobe Premiere will automatically listen to those audio tracks and it'll match them up. So there's really no extra work for me except dragging and dropping the video file and the audio file together. The program basically syncs this up so I can use the audio from the microphone rather than from the camera. And now we'll end and we'll go back to the microphone itself. Uh, and we can give you one more test of the sound quality on the microphone. But overall, I like it a lot from the tests that I have done. It gives a very nice, high-quality sound to it. Uh, it doesn't sound too uh, tinny. It doesn't sound too boomy. There is a bass roll-off, which I'm using right now because I, for my vocal range, the bass roll-off doesn't take anything out. And it also helps keep things like wind noise down if you're recording outside. And it also keeps things like the air conditioner and all those other distractions going around. It keeps those at bay. So that's another... Uh, feature of this microphone that's really nice having that ability to have the bass roll-off feature it'll help you get the best possible audio 
each and every time out. Overall, a really nice microphone, highly recommended, like pretty much everything I've tested out from LYX Pro. As far as a brand that I would consider unknown or something that uh, I really wasn't aware of before I start doing reviews of their products, uh, it, they've really blown me away by testing out their microphones, testing out their headphones directly up against microphones and headphones from the big manufacturers that I've been using for years and years while podcasting and doing that kind of stuff. And dollar for dollar, they've been some of the best quality gear that really stands up to those other brands at a fraction of the price. So, you know, really, you'll get a savings on this and a really nice product. Um, but overall, the shotgun microphone does what it's supposed to do, and it does it really well. So we're going to give this one a definite recommended thumbs up, five star review. Again, this has been a review of the LYX Pro shotgun microphone model number CMG50. One was provided for the purposes of this review, but that does not guarantee a good review. I am Darren O'Neill. Thanks for watching.